Hey, everybody. How's it going? So a month or two ago, I went over this report from the FTC in this video, We're Starting to Win. And I wanted to read one line of it to you because it goes over a point that a lot of the anti-right to repair lobbyists bring up on a regular basis. They often bring up safety, security, safety, security, safety, security. They try to scare you. A magnetometer is going to explode. The boat is going to go on fire. The cell phone is going to explode. There's always some sort of fear mongering. And I like what the FTC did here. They actually did a very, very good counter troll of the manufacturers with what they wrote in this paper. So there's one line I just thought deserved its own video here. Safety considerations are a critical part of any discussion about repairs. Concerns about the safety of users, repair personnel, and the public, however, should not automatically justify restricting repairs to unauthorized repair networks without further analysis. Okay, makes sense, but there's a little citation over here. And it says, or there's a footnote, by not making parts and manuals available to individuals and independent repair shops and not including information in these manuals about the dangers of particular repairs, manufacturers may be exacerbating the very safety concerns that they have raised. So to paraphrase, you say that it's unsafe to repair these products, Yet people are already fixing them and you refuse to release the manuals on how to do it properly with safety information. So the manufacturer is actually making an excellent argument against themselves. So they managed to take the manufacturer's fear mongering and they actually use the manufacturer's fear mongering against the manufacturer, which is one of those ways that you could tell that whoever wrote this is not playing. They're serious. This is not just something where they say we mildly support this. When you see that they are actually trolling the manufacturer, because let's face it, most people don't read these manuals. I mean, how often when, when you buy your, your phone or something, do you actually go through the manual and, scroll, and go to the safety section? But what they're doing there is they are, what they did is they went out of their way to find a way to troll the manufacturer. Because this is honestly not even a point that I would bring up because I don't read the safety section of most manuals myself. It's just, I don't I, I don't, I, I don't read manuals very much. It's just not like, you know, when I get my computer and I want to build it and I want to, I get my motherboard and my power supply and my RAM and my CPU. I don't just, I don't go to the safety section of my CPU manual, the safety section of my motherboard manual. It's just not something that occurs to me. And I think a lot of people that work with this, again, if I was working on a Ford Mustang Mach-E or a Tesla Model S and I needed to disconnect the battery, yeah, I'll read the safety manual. But for like my computer, not really. But what they did there is they found a way to troll the manufacturer. And the, just the fact that they are willing to actually write a troll of the manufacturer into a federal report shows that there are actually people on our side this time. And that's what's going to make the difference between right to repair moving forward and right to repair being a joke, as it has been for the past six or seven years that I've been advocating for it in state legislatures and whether it's at the state or the federal level. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope that you learned something. And also, just since my last video has been completely buried by the algorithm here. I just wanted to announce it again one more time in this video. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. and on Saturday at 2 p.m. I will be hosting at the store a soldering and basic troubleshooting workshop where if you have something to bring, if you have something that you want to solder, if you have something you want to mess with, you can mess around with a microscope, a hotter station, a soldering station, some of my tools, and you can also ask questions of expert technicians that do the work that we do here on this channel for a living. This is free to you, so this costs you no money to come by. You just bring something to work on, and, uh, and I'm more than happy to host you. We will only be able to host about three to four people at a time, so if a bunch of people show up, you may have to wait a little bit before you get in, but... Uh, this video got 6,500 views in a channel with 1.6 million subscribers, so I'm just spamming it here again. There is a meetup.com link in the description for people who want to RSVP, and that's about that. So that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.